Welcome to Evanston, Illinois. Ryan Field and home to the Northwestern Wildcats where it will be a sea of purple as the fans are more than ready for this one. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Duke Blue Devils, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Northwestern Wildcats. On third and goal, they'll throw it. And he's got it! Touchdown, Northwestern! And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. And you don't see that often when you're running the screen and you're featuring the running back and setting it up, but you go elsewhere. And it's a nice job by the offense, nice job by the quarterback in particular, seeing the defense, saying, I can make a place. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. Well, he's off to an awesome start this season. Had a sack in their last game, gets his first sack right now. I think he has a chance to be a huge focal point in this defense moving forward. You gotta be really careful down here in the red zone because these windows are small and defenders close on the ball. That one should have been an INT. It's complete. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats! Nice drive, nice touchdown. I love this offense's response to what happened a week ago. Listen, we're 0-1, so be it. Let's put the foot on the gas, let's move forward, get better, and they have in game two so far. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. He's looking to throw. And they will score! Touchdown, Duke! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen. The on second and goal from the six. He's looking to throw. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Northwestern. Well, they started with horrible field position, but ended with perfect field position in the middle of the end zone. It all comes down to execution, Reese. You've got to have guys going out and doing their jobs. You saw the offensive line up front. They were physical. Skilled players made it happen with the ball in their hands, and the quarterback really showed command on that last drop. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great environment there today in Evanston. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. And he'll try to make it two for two, this time from 35 yards away. Field goal is good. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Wildcats. And the offense punches it in again, and we call his name again. That's two touchdowns now in two games with still more to be played. I'll tell you what, I think this guy's name will be called a lot more throughout the season. He's that kind of good. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And they got him for the sack. The idea was to sell that play fake. Nobody was buying it. He's looking for a man on second down. Unloads to the wideout. Fires and picked off. Those kind of plays can be huge for momentum. Even with the short return, they're set up at the 45. This is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two plus scores, when you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. It's good. Easy call for the refs. 
They can make that jump and get that pick six. So those are dangerous routes to throw, but it worked for him there. He'll come out throwing on first down. And the ball is intercepted. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. Heat up them pass rushers, bring in them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost over. Well, then it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Got enough space. Touchdown, Northwestern! And the beatdown has ensued. And this offense looking more and more like themselves. This is what we're accustomed to seeing. Last week, more of a blip, right? 0-1 to start the season. Kind of had some bad vibes, some bad mojo. Bounced right back, putting up a ton of points. And this one is all but over. 1-1 one one is here for this team. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together run defense pass defense they've been so good man dialed in you could snag in the end zone touchdown blue devils a strong methodical workmanlike effort from this team no frills just get the job done and get the win i love when you describe my teams like that just consistent you know methodical strong i don't have to do things special every single week all I'm supposed to do is get the W, and that's what they did. And this is why practice is so important, guys. You can tell that this team was locked in way back earlier in the week. They watched the film. They got good looks in practice. They knew what to anticipate. They knew what looks they were going to see. And when those looks presented themselves, boy, oh, boy, did they ever take advantage. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.